Hello guys, me Carlos Santos, aka Happy Carlin 957, and welcome to another edition of NBA Live 19. So today I'll be showing you the Joel Embiid Invitational, the NBA Combine, and two regular NBA season games between the Hornets and the Nets. So basically, I'm learning the mechanics of the NBA Live controllers or the controls like the buttons and all that and they're similar to NBA 2K to tell you the truth and I really picked it up really quickly so it has affected my performance a, a bit because you know the way playing basketball you know you get high field goal percentages most of the time when you drive to the basket and make a mid-range shot, you know. But one of my weaknesses is the three-point shots. So, I really don't make a lot of three-pointers behind the arc, so you're not going to see a lot of me shooting any three-pointers. So, so, in this video, I might get mixed between the Joel Embiid Invitational and the NBA Combine because mostly I put them out of order. So, so if you want to find some more info on all the clips I put put down, just uh, do something for five minutes, and I hope I'll get back to you. So, just stay stay in your seats, guys. Big pick right there. Watch the back, watch the back, watch the back. Get back, get back, I got it. You work for us. Wait on. Easy money. They ain't even here. Show 
I got ball, I got ball. I got some for him. Hey, this is my man right here. Y'all get yours. I got ball, I got ball. You don't want to guard you. Oh, yeah, you've been working on your crowd. Come Santa Claus giving me a gift. I got him. Hey, good block, good D. Play some D, play some D. Get down, get down, get down. Half court, here come, here come. Shot, shot, shot. Get through, teammate. It's on your left. Get through, get through.
check the shooter. Good shot. Good shot, bro.
back on the miss. Get back on the miss. I wanted to know what you got from that. Actually, I got a question for you, Stephen A. Oh, Lord. Um, in some of our past discussions, you have hyped up this kid they call The One. But help me out here. I don't see the results. What, what is there to get excited about? Combine is a huge opportunity for players to up their stock and for other prospects to make some noise. There's no question about that. And I will admit, The One, the person I call The One, was not at his peak. Wasn't that impressive? I'll give it to you. But I still believe in him. I still believe that the kid has got tremendous potential. Still a first-round pick to me. Yeah, I get it. The world street ball scene, the pro-am scene, like, that's one thing. But then when it mattered, at the combine, he choked. There's no other way to put it. He choked. That doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Now, yeah, but it? good coaching inspires confidence. Being in the right system inspires confidence, particularly when you have the talent to make it shine. I still believe he will be a first-round pick because I believe he deserves to be. Well, listen, there's a difference between being a late bloomer and an early bust, and I would say he is the latter. So critical.
2018 NBA Draft, the Phoenix Suns select DeAndre Ayton. With the second pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select Marvin Bagley III from Duke University. With the third pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Atlanta Hawks select Luka Doncic from Ljubljana, Slovenia. With the fourth pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Memphis Grizzlies select Jaron Jackson Jr. from Michigan State University. With the fifth pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Dallas Mavericks select Trey Young from the University of Oklahoma. With the sixth pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic select Mohamed Bamba from the University of Texas. And now with the seventh pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Chicago Bulls select Wendell Carter Jr. from Duke University. With the eighth pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Colin Sexton from the University of Alabama. With the ninth pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the New York Knicks select Kevin Knox. With the 10th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Mikael Bridges from Villanova University. With the 11th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Shea Gilgis Alexander from Hamilton, Canada and the University of Kentucky. With the 12th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the LA Clippers select Miles Bridges from Michigan State University. With the 13th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the LA Clippers select Jerome Robinson from Boston College. With the 14th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Denver Nuggets select Michael Porter Jr. from the University of Missouri. And with the 15th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Troy Brown Jr. from the University of Oregon. With the 16th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Phoenix Suns select Zaire Smith from Texas Tech University. Wow. Wow. With the 17th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Dante DiVincenzo from Villanova University. With the 18th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Lonnie Walker IV from the University of Miami. With the 19th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Atlanta Hawks select Kevin Herter from the University of Maryland. And with the 20th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, 
the Minnesota Timberwolves select Josh Okogi from Georgia Tech. With the 21st pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Grayson Allen from Duke University. So we're back. So I skipped the Joel Embiid and NBA Combine commentary because it just was a stepping stone to me being in the NBA. So I actually did well in, in the Embiid invitation, but NBA Combine, it was just awful. So in the mock draft, they put me in somewhere in the twenties, and and when it comes to the NBA draft of you know twenty eighteen, they put me in the Chicago Bulls twenty second overall. So I'm I'm still a Chicago Bulls, but but the way that the players got drafted, top five and top ten wise, hey, it wasn't that bad after all. I'm still developing. So here's the season opener against the Charlotte Hornets. So I'm still a bench player now, so won't be getting any minutes depending on how well I use my role. 
you know. There's things like offensive wind shares and defense because based on how you contribute, even without having the ball, you still have to guard your man and actually try to dispute him of, you know, trying to get those open shots, you know, especially at the three-point line because it's a lethal weapon if you don't defend them, so. I didn't think I'd play NBA Live ever again. It's just been like 20 years ever since I played one of their series, so. Same thing too for the NBA 2K, but I started wanting to play this game, that game basically around 2015, so. Sorry about my, uh iPhone cam. <laughs> Let's see. So as far as the gameplay is for NBA Live, I give it a 5 out of 10. I mean, I know it's copy and paste as far as the gameplay, the graphics, and the commentating, you know. I mean, I kind of wish they did a lot better because you know, it's just an NBA game, and you have to book the best soundtrack out there for the young guy. Yeah. Let me say this again. To let the young viewers out there to want to watch basketball and go to a game in person, that's really important, you know. And they can play basketball during recess, I'm telling you. I mean... Who wouldn't want to play basketball, you know? I mean, not everybody wants to, but a majority of the world will want to because it's becoming a worldwide sensation, so... So, I'm going to easily beat the Charlotte Hornets, and when it came to going against the Brooklyn Nets, it was... Stiff competition because of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving leading the way. And as far as that commentating is concerned, I'm not going to do that one because <laughs> I just wanted to be a ball hog. That's all. And when you're not much of a basketball expert, you're going to fight that every time, you know. So that's my storyline there. So. So, that'll be my end of my commentary on this NBA Live 19, so, I'm aka Happy Carlo 957, and y'all have a great day, and peace out. He showed that he had great chemistry with his teammates on that shot. Keep getting him good looks, and the one will just keep scoring. Rozier, into the front court. The deficit now up to a dozen. Oh, Carter with the rejection. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Marking it to Wendell Carter. Wendell Carter powers it through. And no emotion, just that ice-cold stare. That's a sign of somebody who's here to compete. Rozier with it. Trailing by 14. I got him. Here comes the screen. Love the hustle. Sprawl down on the deck. Hornets at the controls of this one. He's going to the free throw line to shoot. Great job, Ed, by the shooter to create contact after the jump. That's how you get to the free throw line. Malik Monk, a couple of free throws on the way. A career 84% free throw shooter. And he connects on the first free throw. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. This, this, with the screen. To marking it. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Finish at the rim. 
There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. Across the timeline, it's Rozier. 14-point deficit. Knocked loose. That's a momentum play right there. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Cody Zeller sends it away. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Nice pass to set things up. Did you see that change of direction mid-flight? And also, the English he utilized to spin the ball off the rim? That was a thing of beauty. Here comes the screen. To Rogier. Shot clock's at five. Down to four. Rogier. It's rebounded by the Bulls. Done. Fires the three. That one off the mark. It's no good. Rozier into the front court. They can get a two for one if they hurry. To Batum. Oh, you could sense that coming. Mm, there is a premium market for players with that type of hand eye coordination. Levine. Here comes the screen. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. I got this plan. Let's go. Trying to cash in. A shot no good there by Williams. Deep three at the buzzer. There's the buzzer. Three quarters complete. It has been all bulls. The Bulls won this matchup with a significant margin. You ask me, and I'll tell you, it was the ball movement that made all the difference. There's something to be said for a team that can win as a group. And that's what happened here today. Check out the leading scores for the Chicago Bulls. The Charlotte Hornets are no longer suffering through what was a big time blowout. And every team in this league loses games. You just don't want to lose them like this. I can already see a players only me. On behalf of Ed Corn and Jay Williams, this is Jalen Rose signing off. NBA debut last night, and fans were expecting a lot, but for good reason. There's been high expectations since he stepped onto the basketball scene, and his experience playing across the globe has helped prepare him for this new journey in the league. Everyone is waiting to see what happens next. That's all for now, but keep it locked here for all the latest for Complex News and Natasha Martinez. Jay Williams, kid from Jersey, rooted for the Nets growing up. And where do you live now? Brooklyn. Of course, I'm following my favorite team, and these comments are probably going to sound biased because they are. But my Brooklyn ball, is a completely ball. different yeah, place. Only five minutes outside Manhattan. It almost feels like a suburb of the city. And the fact that it's culturally relevant, it just feels like Brooklyn is the new place to be. From the outside, no good. Nets have the basketball. inside the paint on that one. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Trying to cash in. Gets a look. Can't hit. To Dinwiddie.
gets it at the top of the key. To Markinen. Can't connect. Gets it to go. Could have been more. A lot of contact, but no foul. Another possession they were forced to take a tough shot. This time they got it to go, but they need to do something different to start creating more open look opportunities. Oh, highlight moves. Tough to pull off with the defender all over you. Knocks it down from mid-range. I'm telling you right now, with moves like that, scoring is not going to be an issue tonight. Goes to the right side. Deep left corner. Chicago with four to shoot. Has a look. Shot misses there by Valentine. See, the defender did a really good job. He stayed down. He didn't go and bite for all the head fakes. He waited until the last second to contest that shot. Way to know the scout in the field. Layup's good at the buzzer. Nice finish to this first quarter. First quarter complete on to the second period. A little bit of a feeling out process so far. Well, first off, I'm going to take my analytical hat off and then put my fan hat on. This has been a blase first quarter. Not good, not bad, right in between. Let's see how both teams come out and try to adjust themselves in the second half. Done to Levine. Zach Levine, he is shooting well. He's made two thirds of his shots. You know what I like about this pass play? Instead of putting his head down and forcing the action, he patiently waited for the play to develop. Oh, Carter with the rejection. DeAndre Jordan, look out. Some players are so cerebral. I'm not even paying attention to the dunk as much as I'm paying attention to the player pointing and communicating to everybody his team needs a guard on the next play down the court. Dunn couldn't keep it in. It's out off Chris Dunn. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. Done. Goes to the left side. To Markinen. On the arc for three. Off the iron. No good. To Durant. Nice pass to set things up. Another chance. He shoots. Oh, off the mark. Oh, pass stolen by the Nets. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. Ed, do you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. I like that. Deep three at the buzzer. Time expires to end the first half with the Nets in front. Second half. We got this. Let's go. Substitutions. Substitutions. Hey, lock up, lock up. Irving to Hollis Jefferson. He 
was all over him. Missed the shot, no free throws. And this is where you know you have the offense right where you want them. Every possession, all you see them doing is complaining to the ref, complaining to each other. You're making the game uncomfortable. That's the mark of a good defense. Irving. Kyrie Irving. Consistent effort. He's at 50%. Jay, you've known Kyrie Irving since he was a young man growing up in New Jersey. He's overcome a lot of obstacles, chief among them staying healthy and on the floor. Yeah, Ed, he's been battling injuries since his freshman year of college. But the beautiful thing about Kyrie Irving is that he always loves the big stage. Making the game-winning shot in Game 7, he will continue to do so when he surrounds himself with great, inspiring leaders with the likes of such Kobe Bryant. To Wendell Carter. Off the assist. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Count the basket at the rim. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. To Chris Dunn. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. <laughs> the okie doke. Let's see if he'll try that one again. Into the front court, it's Irving. His team leads it by 10. Brooklyn with four to shoot. Kyrie Irving lines it up for two. Deep two there, won't go. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you force them to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket, you're gonna lower the chances of them making that shot. Chicago basketball. Levine to Chris Dunn. Going to launch beyond the arc. That reach was just about a second off. He got his hand in there a little bit quicker. That would have been a steal. Just enough imbalance. First free throw is good. Knocks down the second free throw. Takes advantage of the foul. Three for three at the line. Here's Irving into the front court. The lead is 11. Block shot. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Stuffs it down with authority. That's what I'm talking about. Nice finish. It's all business. Irving into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Has a chance. It's good. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Now the Bulls will take the timeout. They're down big in this fourth quarter. And a chance here to empty their bench. Levine. To Wendell Carter. Count it. Showing you why he belongs here in this league with the best of the best. Efficient scoring out of the rookie here tonight. Kyrie Irving controlling the offense. Probing the defense. The Nets now with four to shoot. Irving over to the right side for three. And Young able to secure the rebound. 19-footer at the buzzer. Knocks it down off the step back. It's the Nets who are victorious. 
as they get a good win on the road. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation. This team, on behalf of Ed Cohen and Jay Williams, this is Jalen Rose signing off. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so click on that bell button if you want to subscribe for more content. Get the thumbs up button if you like the video so much. And if you found my recent video interesting, share a comment down below the description so you can comment with others and give them feedback of how you felt about it. So. I'm AK Happy Corner 957. Y'all have a great day and peace out.